there are tribal leaders who already, who already have the attention of your tribe. Do you hear this? There are, there are leaders who, who have already done the work of building a database or a sphere of influence of people who are the perfect people that you would love to work with. And they're not competitors for you. They're in horizontals for you, right? So uh, for me, for example, if I like coaches, I can work with a coaching association who doesn't necessarily teach marketing. And there is an entire tribe of coaches there that if I could bring my content to them, they would all be like, oh yes, where have you been, right? This is part of the intentionality of using your content to find your people. Okay, but you see that's a different mindset. And so, and, and, and back to the flywheel things, if you keep pushing on the flywheel, this finding portion of the flywheel where your whole, uh, you wake up in the morning going, how can I continue to find more, more of my people so that I can put my content in front of them? That shifts the game for you. If you were just to post for the next five years and hope people show up, post and pray, right? Versus seeking and finding for the next five years, you would have dramatically different results at the end of those five years. Same content, one is just posting and praying, the second one is seeking and finding. 